So this is a video to introduce uh, this model that I fine tuned. It's called Llama 27B Chat HF Code Cherry Pop Kilura. Uh, for short, you can call it Code Cherry Pop. This is a model which has been fine tuned on Llama 27B Chat for uh, with 122,000 coding instructions. Okay, and it is performing amazingly well, and uh, it just looks like a local copilot. Before I before I dive into the demo, I would like to just say that uh, we have tested this with a lot of questions that we would typically ask junior coders, junior programmers, or in interviews and in all those questions, this particular model has done amazingly well. So let's jump into the notebook. So this uh, notebook is basically on a rented GPU, which is RTX 4090 on runpod.io, and uh, there I'm trying these experiments. So in this notebook, initially I'm just installing stuff, and then I'll then I'm going to run the Gradio UI. I've already installed stuff, and I've already run these uh, UIs just to save some time. We have the UI ready, and I would like to jump directly to the demo. Okay, so as you can see, this is a chatbot interface with which we will be able to see how well the model performs. In this notebook, there are lots of examples uh, which have already been tried. So I'm just going to use them. So the first question is, uh, write a Python program to perform Celsius to Fahrenheit con conversion. Let's see. Oh, this run amaz this runs amazingly fast on RTX 4090. I have tested it on RTX 3090 as well, and speed is similar. Now, uh, as you can see, that it has created a function called uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and there uh, it is performing a conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And the formula is correct. So now we jump to slightly more uh, complicated problem. So uh, here we want to see whether it can do the same thing in multiple languages or not. So here I'm also testing how well it can write a C code. Yeah, as you can see that it is able to uh, generate this content very fast as well. And it, all, and it also is correct to ensure that uh, the Fahrenheit results and, and the Celsius results are not uh, interconverted with some approximation, it is using double, and uh, it is also commenting out things for a better clarity. In the code, in the coding instruction dataset, the format was like this: that given a question, it will first write code, and then it will be giving explanation of what it has written. So, whenever it generates an answer, the answer is always in the same format. Okay, now let's try to see a little bit more involved process. We have uh, we wanted to test it test with it with some basic problems as well as some op operating system or file or folder level problems that typically a software developer would be uh, using. Okay, now this problem has been generated and let's look at it. So the problem was that given a file we have to count the occurrence of the world in it and we had to use secure coding practices. So it initializes multiple libraries and then it uh, uh, and then it is creating a function called count word where it is opening a file in read mode and it is initializing the variable to count the number of occurrences. And then it is uh, reading the file with FKTS line by line, and it is uh, using strstr to find the word in the line. It does not use secure coding practices, but this is something that I've seen with uh, multiple language models. And uh, secure coding practices is kind of their brain, but they're able to generate really good C programs as well. Let's, let's see more examples. OK. So uh, this is an example of Java program. I'm not going to run this, but you can see in the notebook itself that this is present and this notebook is going to be shared. This notebook is actually present in the repo. So anybody can 
uh, go and see these options uh, themselves. And let's let's try to chat with the model. This is me being a bit silly and asking the model justify how Python is better than JavaScript. Let's see if it can handle uh, a regular chat requests or is it just good for coding? Okay, so first it, it goes on to a diplomatic rant of uh, mentioning how it cannot do certain things. Uh, like <clears throat> it, it cannot say that uh, uh, Python is better than JavaScript. So it says that Python and JavaScript are both powerful, both have their strength and weakness. Uh, and, and then it goes on to uh, answer why would someone choose Python over JavaScript? It is actually a very intelligent response. And uh, none of these questions are actually present in uh, the coding instruction data set. Because as you can see that uh, such a weird kind of request of justify how Python is better than JavaScript won't really be present in there. Uh, another, another example that is doing rounds on the internet is how the model was refusing to kill a process. Now, that was a 13 billion parameter model that, that, that is supposed to be better than 7 billion. But after coding instruction fine tuning, you can see that it does not refuse that request and it actually gives him a lot of uh, information about this. So all in all, I would like to say that this model is doing very well and I did not expect it to perform so good. Though I was sure after reading the uh, technical paper by Meta that the models are extremely hungry uh, for data and the models are not trained on a lot of coding data. So I knew that coding data is going to make a lot of difference with these models, but they are doing much better than my uh, expectations. In fact, I would say that uh, most of the junior programmer level or junior coder level requests are being fulfilled here. And uh, uh, this is something which is amazing because it can be loaded on a consumer GPU and runs extremely fast. It can be deployed in a completely proprietary environment. It can be used like a local copilot. It is uh, something which uh, is something which I have I, ha I haven't been able to experience before. 